G'day. We've got a 6R80 transmission on the bench there. And quite often people, you can see the oil's very clean in there. It looks nice and clean. New pan gasket filter's been put on it. Quite often people believe that a service will fix an issue, if, especially when uh, the transmission hasn't been serviced for a while. So if you have a look, So you can see there's a fair bit of backlash there on the output shaft, if you can hear that. And if we spin the input shaft, funny noise in there. Heavy. Like new. So it looks like possibly the bushings have gone in it. Gears look alright. They look alright as well. So it hasn't burned anything out. These are like new as well. Now we pop out that circlip. They look 
right as well. Now for the center support. And we've got our hard to reach circlip tool that we've made out of Rio bar. You can see it's got the hinges there on the on the end. Now in here you'll see there's two little ends. So what we're going to do is we're going to press them in that way so we can get that circlip out. So that's where that tool comes in handy. So we're going to be pulling it in that way like that. We'll put those little Go. One in there. Whoop. And sometimes you need to just sharpen it a little bit, especially when the ends of that circlip aren't in deep enough. Oh, it keeps popping off. I'll get Steve, I grab that screwdriver. And just shove it in under that circlip when I compress it a little bit. Got it? Yep. Well, it is a little bit tricky and a little bit awkward. I might have to just resharpen these a little bit. Watch out. And you'll notice the f these are tapered, these circlips. The taper end goes out, or the flat end goes up against that, so it's pushing it in. And you can see these little ends, that's what I'm talking about. So you can see they're, they're stuck in the groove, so only a little bit of that end will be sticking out. A little bit awkward to get to it. But our tool fits nicely in there once you get it out a little bit. And now we can slide the whole center support out. You know, sort of move it a little bit left and right because it's on, probably locked on those slots. Now there is a little locking pin there that just sort of locks it so it can't wriggle around and you'll notice there's a little like an angled bit as you push it in it sort of pushes up tighter because it's pushing towards the case there so that's why you've got to wriggle it a little bit to get it out these diaphragm springs break occasionally but again everything's looking very clean in there There's a one-way clutch or a sprag clutch in there. You just pull those Torringtons out and that sun gear. Pull, pull the sun gear out, you'll be able to grab it. Yeah, the shaft easier. That's it. They like new too. Now we've got the front sun gear, this one. You can't really put that one in the wrong the wrong way anyway, but they do have this little step to the outside. And you've got the other little the rear sun gear.
and you'll see that one side of it has a big chamfer on it. You want to make sure that that chamfer is pushing or pointing towards the front or up. And now we're just going to check, make sure that these pins aren't worn or the rollers have gone on it. Because it did have a funny noise as we're spinning it by hand. There is a fair bit of in flight there. That is pretty normal for these. And it looks like there's your problem. There we go. No splines. And finally the output shaft. And there is a bearing in there under that, that that runs on. Okay, so we'll do the air pressure test, starting off with the B clutch, which is this one here. We'll see it moving. Right up here. Then we've got this one, which will be a D1 brake. No reverse. Then you've got your C clutch over here, which will be that one. A clutch. We can see that one. And E clutch. Now that one's probably not sealing 100% on the rings. If you squirt a bit of oil in there, it'll actually help seal it up. It is a lot thinner than oil. Anyway, that's ready to put the valve body back on there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. And throw us a beer if any of this information helps. Thank you for watching.